The White Huns, also known as the Hephthalites or Svetahuna in Sanskrit, were a nomadic people who played a significant role in the history of Central Asia and parts of the Indian subcontinent during the 5th to 8th centuries CE. Their migration and early history are shrouded in mystery, with various sources offering different accounts and perspectives. However, through the piecing together of historical records, archaeological evidence, and scholarly interpretations, we can gain insights into their origins, movements, and the establishment of their empire. The White Huns were a branch of the larger Hunnic tribes that originated from the Eurasian steppe region, specifically believed to have come from the Altai Mountains. They were part of the broader wave of migrations and invasions that occurred during the late antiquity period, which saw the movement of various nomadic groups across Eurasia, including the Huns, Goths, and Vandals. The exact origins of the White Huns remain uncertain, but they are believed to have been a nomadic confederacy of various tribes, united under a singular leadership. According to Chinese sources, they were initially known as the Hephthalites or Yitai Litu, and they inhabited the regions around the Altai Mountains and the Oxus River, modern-day Amudarya. These sources suggest that the White Huns were possibly descendants of the Shangnu or Huns who had established themselves in the Altai region after their defeat by the Han dynasty in the 1st century CE. Around the 5th century CE, the White Huns began their westward migration, driven by various factors such as overpopulation, resource scarcity, or the pressure from other nomadic groups like the Ruran, Avars. They first encountered and subjugated the Kidarites, another Hunnic tribe that had established themselves in parts of modern-day Afghanistan and Uzbekistan. This initial expansion brought the White Huns into conflict with the Sasanian Empire, which controlled territories in present-day Iran and parts of Central Asia. After their conquests in Central Asia, the White Huns consolidated their power and established the Hephthalite Empire which spanned from the Oxus River in the west to the Tarim Basin in the east. This empire was centered in the regions of modern-day Afghanistan and parts of Central Asia, with its capital initially located in Bactria, possibly at Balshor Kunduz. After their conquests in Central Asia, the White Huns consolidated their power and established the Hephthalite Empire, which spanned from the Oxus River in the west to the Tarim Basin in the east. This empire was centered in the regions of modern-day Afghanistan and parts of Central Asia, with its capital initially located in Bactria, possibly at Balshor Kunduz. The rise of the White Huns Empire brought them into conflict with various neighboring powers, including the Sasanian Empire and the Gupta Empire in India. The White Huns engaged in frequent raids and invasions, often exacting tribute and demanding submission from these empires. However, they also established trade relationships and cultural exchanges, particularly with the Sasanians, aiding in the spread of various influences and ideas. The White Huns were primarily a nomadic people, they adapted to the sedentary lifestyles of the regions they conquered, adopting elements of the existing cultures and systems of governance. They are believed to have been organized into a confederacy of tribes, with a powerful ruler or kagan leading the empire. Their governance system was likely a blend of nomadic traditions and the administrative structures of the conquered territories. The White Huns played a significant role in the cultural and religious landscape of the regions they ruled. They were initially practitioners of various pagan religions, but over time, many converted to Buddhism, which had a strong presence in Central Asia and parts of the Indian subcontinent. Archaeological evidence suggests that the White Huns patronized Buddhist art and architecture, contributing to the spread and development of Buddhist culture in these regions. The Hephthalite Empire faced various challenges and eventually declined in the latter half of the 6th century CE. The exact causes of their decline are uncertain, but scholars suggest a combination of internal conflicts, external pressures from neighboring powers like the Sasanians and the newly emerged Turkic Khaganate, and economic factors. By the end of the 7th century, the White Huns had largely disappeared as a distinct political entity, their empire fragmented and absorbed into the territory.